Lesson 7 Lights Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today you are going to learn how you can add sunlight to your scene. Step 1. The Light Component To add sunlight to the scene, you must create an empty game object. Name it Sun. The next thing you want to do, is to add a light component to it. Go to the Inspector tab and search for the light component and add it to the game object. There are several types of lights that you can use in Unity. For this video we are going to explore the directional light. Step 2. Directional light. Directional lights are mostly used in outdoor scenes for sun and moonlight. They affect all the surfaces of the objects in scene. They are also the least expensive to the graphics processor. The first parameter on the light component is type. Here you can set the type of light you want to use. You can either select spot, directional, point or area. Today we are going to use directional light, so set the type to directional. Setting the light to directional will place the light infinitely far away. The following parameter is color, and will set the color of the light emitted. On intensity you set the brightness of the light. The default value for a directional light is 0.5. Next you have cookie. This is the alpha channel of the texture used as a mask that determines how bright the light is at different places. Since this is a directional light, this must be a 2D texture. On cookie size you scale the projection of the cookie texture. The following parameter lets you configure the shadows. You can either set it to no shadows, hard shadows, or soft shadows. The soft shadows are not available for mobile since they are too expensive to the graphics processor. If you select hard or soft shadows, you can configure several parameters. On hard, you can set the value of strength, which is the darkness of the shadows. You can set values between 0 and 1. On resolution, you set the detail level of the shadows. Finally on bias, you can configure the offset used when comparing the pixel position in light space with the value from the shadow map. If you select soft shadows, you can also set the softness and softness fade of the shadows. Next you have the draw halo option. If you enable it, Unity will draw a halo around the light source. On flare, you can set a reference to a flare to be be rendered at the light's position. On render mode, you can either select auto, important, or non-important. This affects the importance of this light when rendering, affecting the lighting fidelity and performance. With auto, the rendering method is determined at runtime depending on the brightness of nearby lights and current quality settings. With important, the light is always rendered at per pixel quality. This must be used only for very important effects, like the headlights of the player's car. Finally, with non-important, the light is always rendered in a faster, vertex object light mode. The following parameter is calling mask. You can use this to select or exclude the groups of objects that are affected by the light. The last parameter is light mapping. You can set its mode to real time only, auto or baked only. After configuring your directional light, you will see that your scene now looks more bright and realistic with shadows. This concludes our first video on lights. If you enjoyed this video, 
please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts or feedback, leave it on the comment section below. Until next time, and keep doing awesome games.